If you are challenged by Android devices which cannot run OpenCV and heavy machine learning, there is a way out. You can run bare minimum OpenCV functions on the Android device and do the heavy machine learning on a server backend. This video is the third in our playlist of solutions to integrate OpenCV on Android. I will show you how to use Kiwi Python and OpenCV to validate an image for processing, load image files on an Android phone, send that image file to a server for OpenCV processing, and have that server handle the image with OpenCV and Python imaging libraries. Our uh, Android Python code reads an image file from the phone's external storage and sends the image file via HTTP POST to a REST API. The server receives the image file and uses OpenCV and NumPy to process that image file. Let's uh, first set up a Kiwi Android application and the GUI for the phone, but if you want to dive straight into the REST API and OpenCV, you can fast forward to here. Uh, we begin by writing our root class, myAppRoot, which inherits from Kiwi Grid Layout. For this class, myAppRoot, let us write a Kiwi design file which specifies the graphical user interface layout of my app. Here is a visual map of how the widgets are laid out. Here, root refers to the root class myAppRoot, which inherits from grid layout. MyAppRoot is a reference to draw the GUI on the screen and root height and root width refer to properties of my app root class. I'm going to set the color and alpha channel values for this level widget. Then I'm going to add a box layout inside the top level grid layout. And it is going to have two widgets inside of it. So I specify uh, two columns. One is a button and another one a text label that we will use to display some output from our program when we click uh, the button. Uh, the on press property of the button is uh, set so that when we click the button, it'll call grab underscore send underscore img method of the root class. That root class is my app root. We will implement the uh, grab underscore send underscore img method in a bit, but before that, let's set up the text label here. Let us um, implement an object property which we will use to send values from the uh, Python program and set with it uh, the ID of the label here. For Python reference, we will name it img underscore size underscore label and for Kiwi reference, we will name it img underscore size underscore label underscore Kiwi. And uh, we will specify them on the two sides of the colon here. Just uh, need to fix the indentation here. Next, we have to implement the grab underscore send underscore img method in my app root class. Before that, we need a class my app that inherits Kiwi app because ultimately we want to launch our app as a Kiwi app. Its build method uh, instantiates the my app root widget class and launches the app. 
uh, to put everything together, we finally have to instantiate my app. Let's implement a callback function to handle internet and external storage access permissions. Let's define a global variable a last underscore permission which will be used to signal if permissions dialog was served to the user. Note that uh, the permission handling code can be more robust in that we have not implemented the, the scenario where the user does not give permissions. This is a topic for another video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like another video. For this video, I want to keep things simple so the code only supports a scenario where the user gives necessary permissions. Essentially, it works. Now, on to the implementation of the grab underscore send underscore uh, img method in my app root class. First, a simple check for user permissions to use the internet and device external storage. I'm picking up a file named more underscore digits underscore plot dot PMG from the DCIM subdirectory of the device's external storage. For testing purposes, I manually dropped this PNG file into the DCIM directory of the device, which I am emulating in Android Studio. We open the file to read all the bytes and encode the data in base64, which is recommended for sending the data by HTTP POST request. If you're liking the content so far, then please give us a like. This will motivate us to make more content like this and your likes will help us reach our channel to many more viewers in the community just like you. Next, uh, we set up uh, a JSON to send the file name and file size. This is not strictly necessary, but helpful information to validate the information received at the server side. Then uh, we set up the HTTP REST connection to the server where we will upload the PNG file with an HTTP POST request. I won't go into the details of this. If you are interested, I've provided a link to another video in the description. I'm going to do a JSON dump to send the base64 encoded contents of the PNG file through an HTTP post. A JSON key IMG points to the base64 encoded file contents. It is important to set the key correctly because the server will use the same key named IMG to retrieve the base64 encoded image file contents from the incoming JSON. I'm going to set the label with the status of that upload request. Remember, we set up img underscore size underscore label to communicate that to the widget in our myapp.kv file.
Along with the status, we will also report the shape of the NumPy array returned when, when uh, OpenCV IAM read function loads the PNG file. And this is in the Android phone. We're using flag zero in IAM read to load the image in grayscale. Uh, I'm going to set up some exception handling too in case something goes wrong with the HTTP POST request. and some code fixes, some typos, etc. Uh, the APK is built and ready to be deployed. We can deploy the APK to Android Studio where I already have an Android phone emulation set up, but the APK will fail as soon as it makes an HTTP POST request uh, to send the image file. And this is because there is no server-side code implemented for this REST API to grab the image file. So before we deploy the APK, let's implement the server-side code to grab the image file and apply OpenCV and NumPy image processing to it.